Um, I'd like to I'd like to start by sharing a dream that the Lord gave me um, recently. If things were to start and if and if the judgment and things were to begin this and very soon, I felt because in the dream I felt like it was probably going to happen. Because in the dream I felt like it was happening probably this month or next month. I'm not saying it's going to happen this month or next month, but in the dream He was just letting me know how it was going to be like if things were to start happening this month or probably next month, because if, because in the dream, the Lord allowed me to discern that I was actually in, I was actually in, I was, at, I was in this year, and the Lord allowed me to discern um, that um, I, was, I was probably in May or in June. I couldn't tell which, which exact month I was in, but in the dream, I knew that I was at least about three or four months away from September. And I knew that I was a few months away from the final blood moon. That was what he let me understand, that I was a few months away from the last blood moon. But I'm not saying, it, I'm not saying it's going to happen, as I said. I'm just saying that in the, in, when I woke up, he showed me, he let me experience things as though they were going to happen. Um, I mean, he let me experience things, or he let me feel or live in, in, in this time. And he let me feel as though the, the tribulation and, and as though things are going to start happening around, I don't know, this month. But I'm not saying for sure that it is. But he let me experience um, the time then if it was going to really happen around this time. And what he was showing me was that so many people, so many people were not going to be ready. Uh, as I started um, in the dream, I, st I started to see that I was in the time of May. And I was walking around. I was going to places. And then I started seeing people that looked normal, like, like normal human beings. Like, they look like regular people. They look like just normal people. And I'd see them, and it's, and it's like they would come close to me. But in the dream, when, when I'd see them, my spirit would, would get uncomfortable and would instantly, the Holy Spirit would tell me to back off. He would tell me to, to run away from those people, not to get close to them. And because what he would show me, when I would see these people was that I would feel like they were spying on me. In my, in my dream, I felt like they were spies. They were like spying on me. They were watching me and they were just trying to get close enough to gain my trust and then strike when I least expected. Those are what those people were for because I didn't know what they were for. But then when I woke up, the Holy Spirit was letting me understand because in the dream, they looked just like any other person, like a, a human, a human being. There was nothing that looked wrong with them. Everything about them looked perfect and everything about them looked okay. But their spirits and their hearts, they were not regular people. Um, they looked like normal people, but they were not. I saw them trying to get me, but then the Holy Spirit, like he prompted me in my spirit to run away from people such as those. And I backed off from them. And I, I mean, I kept walking and walk, I kept walking around, and I realized that I also met another person like that again, who was just like them. He was also um, a spy, but he just looked like a regular person. But the second time, I realized that um, I had gained a little bit of experience from the other guy. I mean, from the first one that I met, so I was able to run, run off and back off quicker and ran off faster. The Lord has shown me how it was going to be that his two servants, his two children, were going to, were going to be growing in knowledge and in wisdom and in experience. So it's going to be like a, a growing experience for, for all of them, for, for all of us, for all of God's people when these things begin. Because one thing I didn't know was that in that dream, it felt like the veil was broken because the demons were physically, they were everywhere. There were physical demons. Some of them looked, there were, there were different rankings and there were different types, and they had different forms. Some of the demons um, in the flesh um, I, I, that I saw in the dream, some of them looked like, you know, regular, regular, regular humans. Others looked, um, some of them I knew were, were women. I could tell that they were feminine. They were female demons, and, and that they also looked like, I don't know. They looked like they were seducers, like succubuses. They were also strong, and they were very evil. And you could tell that these these women demons were very, very strong. And there are a lot of them walking around, and they were just going. They were, I knew that they were going after all those that were God's people, all those that were chosen and anointed. And in a dream, the Lord was letting me understand that they could just tell. They just know. It's like it's like they just know that it's it's like I mean, when you look at someone, they don't need anyone to tell them. 
they just know that you are, an, they just know whether you're truly of God or whether you're not of God. Because in the dream, they're just coming at me. Because there are so many people there that are going after other people. But then for me, I had like, at least from what I can remember in the dream, they were like, look, look there were probably like at least six of them that were coming after me. And they had different rankings. I could tell that they have diff- they had different supernatural abilities. I mean, with, with, with some of them that I saw, some of the demons that I saw, I, I don't know, from their appearance, it almost looked like they could probably go through walls. Some of the demons that I saw, I don't know. They just had this form. They, they had this appearance. And it looked like they could go through walls. They, it looked like they had this supernatural ability to be able to do things that normal people were not able to. And there were so many of them, and they were going after every single person, you know, that, had, that, that, that was a true child of God. And then I saw that so many of God's children, so many Christians, so many of God's people began to run and to scatter all over the place. People were running. People were, people were going in all directions. Some people were trying to enter certain homes. And, and go inside to certain places. But what the Lord showed me was that the doors were locked because I saw people that were entering. I saw people that were trying to go into certain, house, certain houses. And they tried to knock. They tried to go in, but the doors were locked and they could not enter. And the Holy Spirit was clearly revealing to me how it was going to be in that time that people will try. People will, will really strive to be, to be protected People will really strive to, you know, to, to find shelter or to find protection in, in these days that are coming. But, but they won't. The only, the only protection that they could find is in, is in Jesus. And if you haven't really gotten Jesus, then there's no other protection. Because then people are going to look for, you know, alternative protection. And it doesn't work that way. The only true protection is Jesus. And you better get Jesus now so we have true protection because when everything started, when, you know, when the disaster started and the demons were out there and they were going everywhere trying to attack and trying to bring God's people down, what I saw, what the, what the Holy Spirit showed me clearly was that he gave me supernatural ability because when everything had begun, when it was darkness and the demons were um, were out. I'm not saying fears of darkness, but in the dream, it just looked like there were demons everywhere and the clouds were looking dark. One thing I could clearly see was that weapons appeared in my hand. I had these two weapons that one appeared in my left hand and one appeared in my right hand. And I really had no idea of how to use it at the beginning. But the moment the weapon came into my hand, I asked the Holy Spirit. I asked the Lord. I was like, Lord, how do I use these? What do I use them for? The moment I, I thought of asking the Holy Spirit or, or wanting to know how to, how to use what he had given me, the moment I, I, I was searching for that, instantly what came to me was that. Instantly what came to me was, or, was a revelation on, on how to do it. I just had a knowing in my spirit. I just knew how to use the weapon that the Lord gave me. I just, I just knew what to do to, to, to manipulate or to work the gadget or the device that the Holy Spirit had given to me. It's like, it was like a revelation came to me and I just knew how to work or use the weapon that the Lord was given to, had given to me. And with that, I was able to, to, to hit something on the weapon. And then what happened was that it shot. Um, and then it actually pierced through about four or three demons at the same time. I got like three of them, like three or four demons at the same time. But in the dream, there was so much chaos and so much fear. And there was, it was just so awful. Everything was so bad. There was just so much fear and so much chaos and so much panicking everywhere. And there was just countable amount of evil spirits released. That it, was, it was almost like I, I saw people were panicking. And, the, and in the dream, it was like I, I felt like I, I panicked and I dropped one of the weapons that the Lord gave me, I shouldn't have dropped it. But then, oh, it was just so awful. There were just so many demons everywhere. And I accidentally dropped it. And, but then I had two, so there was still one left in my hand. And I remember that I was, I, was, I was going into a place and trying to find a room or find a, a, a house 
or a place to enter to pray or to do something or try to find another pair of another one of the weapons or I was looking for something, a place to go in to be protected for the meantime. But I, I realized that when I was doing that, I saw this other person that was doing that. And this is what the Lord told me. This is what the Holy Spirit showed me. The Holy Spirit showed me a certain man, a certain person, a certain person. The Lord just showed me a certain person that had been doing, um, that, that, that was a hypocrite. What he was doing was that he kept saying, Lord, Lord, come now, Lord, Lord. Um, I, I want you to come now. I want you to start everything now. I want you to, be, I want you to start doing everything now. But what the Lord showed me was that he would just speak and he would just talk and he would just keep saying that, Lord, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. But then the Lord was showing that in his heart, he was not truly seeking the Lord to be ready, but he just wanted everything to be, he just wanted everything to start. He wanted all things to begin, but he was not ready because when I saw everything beginning, I saw how there were people running about and there were people just, you know, scattering all over the place. I saw that he was one of them. He was trying to go into a room to hide and to seek protection. But then in that time it was too late because because everything had started. And I knew that once everything started, there was no way that anything was, that they were going to go back into time. I was like, once it begun, I knew that it had started and it was going to be completed. And not, no one or nothing was going to stop that. I knew that it had been I had been, it was going to be completed. And I saw this man that was trying to go into a certain room, and he was trying to open the door. And the door was locked. He couldn't enter. And he was, he was, he was stuck. And, and when I saw him, I felt like when everything began, he started to compromise. He was beginning to compromise, and I could feel his spirit that he was beginning to compromise. Yeah, thing had changed, and people's hearts had begun to fill them for fear. And people were in so much terror. People were in so much terror. So I want to encourage you guys to know that, to, 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 to be thankful of the time that you have. And I want you to take this time very, very serious. Yeah, I want you guys to be very grateful of the time that the Lord has given you now. And seek him and, and, and be ready. Repent. Because he was showing me so many people think they're ready. But they're not ready. So many people keep saying the Lord should come, should come. And the Lord was telling me that he was very upset about that. People go around, you know, it's time a lot of people boast and say a lot of things and keep saying the Lord should come, the Lord should do this. But then he was telling me that that made him upset because those people were not taking him as serious as they should and they were not ready. And it was like they were being very hypocritical about, about the whole situation. They were not taking it very serious. They were not taking the judgment and the, the coming of Yeshua and the end of the world serious because they would just, you know, speak. They would just, they would just, and say, Lord, come, Lord, I'm ready. I want you to come. But they would not mean the, the words they would speak with their hearts. And when everything would really start, when it was time, and when things had truly begun, they were nowhere to be found. When things started, they were running, and they began to even compromise. And Bola showed me this really made him upset. So he was telling me that he wants people to take him more serious, and, and he's giving people more time to be ready. And he wants everyone to go to him and to ask him sincerely if they're ready. And the Lord will show you if you're ready or not. Because you, and the GP showed me clearly that a lot of people think they're ready, and, you know, they speak and they boast, you know, in their selves, and, and they think they're ready, but, but they're not. The Lord showed me that so many people that think they actually are ready are not ready. They are not. So I, I encourage all of you guys to, 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 to all humble yourselves and, and, you know, just seek the Lord with all your heart. And if you're ready, he's going to reveal it to you. And I encourage you to ask him too. Because what I saw in the dream was very awful. It was, it was very, very serious. It was very, very terrible. A day, just a day, and what I experienced was like, I knew that it was, it was going to feel like a whole year because it was so awful. And it was like just experiencing that for a second was one thing I would have never, ever wanted to do. A second in that time was feeling like a whole year. That was what it was feeling like. So I definitely encourage all of you to just be ready 
and to know that things are going to start happening. Things are going to start happening any time from now because in the dream, I was like, the Lord showing that things were ready to happen. And he was showing me how things were going to be if they started. He was showing me how I was letting you know, I was letting all of you know that things are about to start. So please just keep getting ready. Keep getting ready. Keep preparing your heart, your soul, and your mind. And keep staying in the Lord, okay? I love all of you so much. And 